In this lesson, I will explain how to create folders and groups to organize and share your Zotero citations. You can create folders or collections, as Zotero calls them, with the Add Collection button in the upper left hand side of the Zotero browser extension. Let's create a collection called Climate Change. There's nothing in the collection right now, so when I have it selected, the citations pane will be empty. If I go to the My Library folder, I can drag items into the climate change folder one at a time or in batch by highlighting them all and dragging them in. If that isn't specific enough, you can even create sub-collections, either by adding a new collection and dragging it into the original, or by right-clicking on the original collection and creating new sub-collections. You can, you can then drag items that are appropriate into each collection. Notice that if you click on a collection, only the items in that folder will appear. But if you click on a higher collection, all of the items, even the ones that are contained in subfolders, appear here. Similarly, if you click on My Library, all items in your library are going to appear. If you're working on a collaborative project, you may want to create a group so that you can save and share citations with others. Here is the Create New Group icon. It will take you to a Create New Group page on the Zotero website. If you're not already signed in, you will be asked to sign in with your Zotero username. Then, choose the name of your group, and the privacy setting that you choose. You'll be given the option to add a group description, associate your group with a certain discipline, upload a picture, or associate a URL. You can also change your privacy settings if necessary, or delete your group. In member settings, you can send invitations to add members to your group, either by their Zotero username or email addresses separated with a comma. Click Invite Members after you've entered whoever you want. After you've created your group, if it doesn't immediately appear in your Zotero pane, you can click this green arrow to sync the Zotero browser extension with the web browser. Once it's here, you can click this little black arrow to expand your group. And then you can drag items or entire folders into the group library. In the next lesson, I will go over the Microsoft Word plugin for creating bibliographies. If you need more help, please don't hesitate to ask a librarian at library.uttyler.edu.